So hey y'all, Cold Case Cause here. I just wanted to come and make a quick video because I've been getting a lot of negative comments and stuff and I just wanted to kind of see if I could neutralize some of that. Um, the firearm that, that I located was a 22 revolver, an Italian made 22 revolver, stainless steel, and it was a higher end gun. So it was a gun of money and it clearly looked like someone threw it out the window uh, of the vehicle going down that dead end road. The other item, the piece of sheet that I found, uh, appeared to have dried up blood on it, but it was super old dried up blood. Uh, I called CBI, Colorado Bureau of Investigation. They told me to call the Saguache County Sheriff and have them come out to collect the evidence. And so that's what I did. I called the Saguache County, County Sheriff and the actual under sheriff himself came out uh, with a beard, real nice guy. He came out in his black Camaro and then two other deputies came. They collected the gun very carefully and scientifically and properly. Um, they bagged it and tagged it. They did the same with the sheet and another bone that I found. So that's three items uh, that uh, was submitted to the authorities the right way. And um, sorry, I was just making sure it was a recording. Um, it was submitted properly, so um, I've had a lot of people say I'm doing this for clickbait and, you know, for views and stuff, and uh, or that uh, I planted the firearm and it's not real and it's a scam and it's spam. Uh, I actually uh, got reported to YouTube by True, Rock, True Crime Rocket Science, Nick over there, uh, for posting spam on his page because uh, I posted about the firearm and the sheet. So, uh, not sure what he's talking about. You can actually call the Saguache County Sheriff if you don't believe me, or Colorado Bureau of Investigation if you'd like to uh, confirm that I actually found those items and turned them in, okay? Uh, I've also been in touch with Denver News 7 out of Denver. Um, they possibly want to do a story soon. So, if I can get that going, then that will be 1,000% proof for y'all. But look, let me tell you something. I'm a volunteer. Okay, I've been on the fire department search and rescue since 2011. Okay, I every bit of time that I put out here is volunteer time. I've never once accepted a penny for anything I do. Uh, it's broken me. All my savings I've ever saved up in my life, I've spent searching for missing people. You can look at my page, look at, just scroll down my page and look at all the missing people. Okay, I did all that out of my pocket. I'm not doing this for views. I do. I put it on YouTube because I need help from you, the public, and the armchair detectives and the shoestring detectives in this. Um, I trained with Adventures with Purpose with Jared Lysick and Doug Bishop and Chaos Divers. I trained with all of them for months. Um, you know, I have cadaver dogs. They're not trained specifically to find human beings, but they're trained to find anything decomposing in nature in the woods, and I've trained them to do that. Uh, I got the start from being a backcountry elk hunting guide and tracking elk that hunters have wounded and finding them for them. And uh, it, it was a very lucrative business, you know, but I turned it over into look to volunteering, searching for missing people and bringing closure to families. Sorry, I'm kind of on a, lot, a highway, but it's, it's a beautiful, we're in the uh, Pagosa Valley here. But I just wanted to say, you know, I, I, I'm doing this to try to get right with the, the good Lord and and be spiritual. I'm not doing this to try to get views and try. I, I don't accept money. I don't take, I'm not a bounty hunter. I'm not trying to get a bounty or any reward. I'll never accept a reward. So I'm doing this, you know, because this is my, this is what I feel like my calling in life is to do. Uh, I'm, and that's the only reason. So I appreciate you guys watching and all you new subscribers, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm going to be doing this for the rest of my life. So you, uh, you can count on videos coming like this. I know they're not the best. I video everything with my cell phone. So one day if I can ever save up anybody, I'll get better gear and the videos will get better. But I just want y'all to know 1000% on my daughter that that gun was found there. CBI and the law enforcement missed it and the sheet was found there. I swear to God on my daughter, hand to God. So, uh, so please stop saying that uh, it's, it's clickbait. I've had a lot of people say, this is fake, this is clickbait, you're, you're a fraud, all this stuff. Man, you can check my stats, man. I've been doing search and rescue since 2011 in some form or fashion. 
I've been an EMT at Tico Time Resort this summer. You know, I all I do is volunteer to try to give back. Um, I'm not a scammer, and I'm not a spammer, or whatever else you want to call me. Um, I hate doing videos like this because I try to put out nothing but good vibes and positive energy. So when I see these negative comments of people hating, and people on true crime rocket science like Nick, you know, he reported me for... Uh, posting false stuff on his page and I got banned by YouTube for for posting false and fraudulent stuff because I found a firearm so like I said please call Saguache County Sheriff and to ask the people Brandy usually answers the phone she's uh, one of the deputies there and ask her if I actually found a firearm and you can look on my community page go to the post I just posted I posted pictures of the law enforcement coming out to collect the evidence so please don't call me a fraudster because that's the last thing I am. It hurts, man. When I'm out here fucking, sorry, I'm, I hate to cuss, out here, you know, putting my life and everything out here, uh, just spending all my money on this stuff. Uh, you know how much dog food and gas costs to get to these places? But I needed to get that out. Um, thank you for watching my channel. Please uh, like and subscribe. And once again, God bless, and I appreciate all the nice comments because there was way more nice and helpful comments than there were mean ones. But, um, you know, I have tough skin. It's all right, but it gets to me when people say that I'm out here trying to clickbait and get rewards and stuff. That's not it. So uh, have a blessed day. Look at this beautiful valley. And law enforcement was not happy that I found those items, and I've had to deal with some stuff with them lately, but I can't get into it. But I hope you all have a blessed weekend. And a blessed Sunday tomorrow. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day.